Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to this session about the amazing Wikidata query service and our uh, difficult efforts to scale it. <laughs> so um, let's start with a few basics uh, for those who don't know what is the query, uh, Wikidata query service. Um, the Wikidata query service is a very critical part of Wikidata. Um, it is used to query all the relations in uh, Wikidata, all the statements, to basically make sense of the data. And it's, it's uh, a crucial tool to really work with the data uh, that is in Wikidata and unlock its true power, so to say. Um, and another thing that's important to understand for what's coming is that it's running on a software called PlaceGraph. Um, so who actually currently uses the query service um, as this critical part of Wikidata's infrastructure? First of all, uh, Wikidata editors are using it uh, to basically understand and maintain the, the whole knowledge graph that is Wikidata. Um, they use it for advocacy work uh, to show, hey, this is all the cool stuff you can do with Wikidata. Um, to run workshops and help people uh, work with Wikidata. Um, and simply to show off what all the cool stuff they've been working on. Um, with, for example, visualizations like you can see them here. Um, beyond that, uh, there's a group that I call knowledge seekers and sharers who are people on the internet who want to find out weird, interesting, um, informative things and to use queries to satisfy their curiosity. Uh, so for example, uh, if you want to know if there were any popes who had children who were also popes, Wikidata Query Service can tell you and the answer is yes, uh, that is a thing. <laughs> or uh, it's public domain day uh, and you can query for works f uh, that become um, uh, that go into the public domain on a certain date, for example, and share that with the world. Then we have uh, what I call small and medium-sized reusers, so people, organizations, groups, building uh, applications on top of Wikidata to um, help people understand the world better, share knowledge. Um, there are three examples here. Um, uh, the bottom one is uh, Gov Directory, a really cool tool to help people uh, connect to their government and make their voices heard by using the data in Wikidata uh, for how to uh, contact certain parts of uh, governments in different countries. Or we have the uh, Open Art Browser, very cool tool to dive into visual art, uh, sculptures and more. Or um, here, um, a tool to better understand uh, women scientists and the contributions they've made. Um, then we have the other Wikimedia projects, uh, Wikipedia, Wikivoyage, and so on and so on, um, basically using it to fill info boxes, um, but also to structure their work um, uh, through, for example, um, building lists for campaigns. So you're uh, trying to get more articles written about uh, women scientists at a certain institutions. You can write a query to give you uh, what is currently there um, and see uh, which uh, ones you're still missing on, uh, with an article on your Wikipedia, for example. Um, women in Red, for example, is a group that uses this quite extensively. And in general, using it to better understand the contents of their projects, like how many women are we writing about? How many people from certain areas are we writing about? Um, which articles are we missing that are covered in a lot of other Wikipedias, for example? Um, <clears throat> and last but not least, uh, Wikimedia development teams and tool builders who are building tools that heavily rely on queries to Wikidata. Um, so for example, we have the item quality evaluator. You can write a Sparkle query, get a list of items you're interested in, like a list of Star Trek episodes, for example, and then have it give you uh, the quality level uh, of each of those uh, items and then uh, improve the worst ones, for example. Or we have uh, integrality, which gives you dashboards 
for Wikidata items and their completeness and helps you uh, find areas where stuff is missing in Wikidata items. Um, right, so now we looked at who uses it and uh, now let's look at the scale of the whole uh, thing. Um, it is one of the largest uh, Sparkle endpoints uh, on the internet and it's, as far as I know, the only one at this size um, that is publicly queryable um, for anyone to use that wants to. There are right now 15 billion triples in uh, the query service that are coming from around 150, uh, 105 million items and on those items there are around 1.5 billion statements plus some uh, on properties and lexemes but in the grand scheme of things those are still uh, comparatively small. And uh, the query service has to deal with about 700,000 edits per day uh, on Wikidata, um, and it's serving 5,000 requests per minute. Um, so 5,000 uh, queries per minute. Now, you all here probably know this, there are a bunch of uh, challenges with this, and uh, they are all interconnected. Um, one of the issues we have is keeping up with the data size. So Wikidata is very successful, you're all doing amazing work, which means more and more data gets into Wikidata, um, which means more and more data needs to end up in the query service and BlazeGraph needs to deal with that. Problem is, BlazeGraph does not what we call, it does not have what we call sharding support. Um, so you cannot easily distribute it um, across different servers, for example. Um, which means we need larger and larger disks and larger, uh, more and more memory uh, to, to make this run. On top of that, there are some internal limitations in BlazeGraph um, that mean it will at some point reach a limit even if we um, add more and more memory and more and more disk space to it. Second uh, class of problems. Um, it's getting a lot of loads. So there, as I said, there are a lot of edits happening on Wikidata, each of which needs to be put into BlazeGraph so you can query it. Um, and there are a lot of people querying uh, the query service. So the more and more people are building core cool applications, on top of it, the more and more queries will uh, be sent to the query service, which is amazing, but also uh, tough to deal with on a completely open uh, uh, query service instance. Um, and uh, last but not least, um, it is a challenge for us, uh, specifically for the uh, search platform team and the foundation, to keep the whole thing stable and secure. Um, so we are experiencing issues where randomly servers crash uh, because of limited capacity uh, and overload that Placegraph just can't deal with. Um, and unfortunately, thank you Amazon, um, Placegraph is no longer maintained, um, which means it will uh, run out of uh, support, uh, or it basically has run out of support. Uh, there will be no security updates and uh, things like that in the future, which is not great for a publicly accessible endpoint. <laughs> so what does all of this mean um, for us? Um, it means that legitimate queries that we want people to run, uh, for example, queries to maintain data in Wikidata, queries to build cool tools like um, Gov directory are timing out um, because we have more and more data to deal with uh, this problem also gets worse because there's more and more data to query through and to analyze before a query can uh, be, be answered. So as more data gets into Wikidata, this problem becomes worse. Um, all of this means that uh, people are starting to restrict their editing, which is also not great <laughs> because we all want to edit and we all want to make uh, data available to the world. Um, and last but not least, uh, it means that we're very hesitant to build new stuff on top of it that would be super useful to have um, because uh, it would add more problems to an already problematic situation, which means 
uh, editors and reusers do not get cool new stuff. Also not good. So that was the problem. <laughs> what do we do about it? Um, we have already done a bunch of stuff, uh, but by far not enough. So what have we done? Um, we have introduced an, uh, what is called a new streaming updater. So now it is no longer as much of a problem um, when there are a lot of edits happening on Wikidata. Uh, Blazegraph can keep up uh, much better and uh, not be completely out of sync with what's happening on Wikidata anymore. So that's great. Um, problem is not completely solved, but it's a, it's a fairly good situation now. Um, we've also made a disaster mitigation uh, plan because there's a lot of uncertainty when we actually hit limits. Um, that means the query service just uh, will not um, run anymore. Uh, we've made a plan for that. We've communicated it. You can read up on it on Wiki uh, if you haven't seen it yet. So this is basically, if worst comes to worst, this is what we're doing. Um, we've also uh, gotten someone to look at uh, different alternatives for backends uh, to replace BlazeGraph. Um, there's no decision made, but there's at least a short list of things that could potentially work um, and that we could potentially move to. Um, and last but not least here, we have taken a lot of pressure off the system by moving things elsewhere. So for example, we've built out the Wikibase ecosystem so that people can move data that they would otherwise have put into Wikidata, but it's maybe a bit too specialized, too niche, too, um, too much um, for Wikidata. It doesn't fit the notability guidelines and so on, um, can find a different home, either in their own Wikibase instance or on what we call Wikibase Cloud, which is uh, the uh, hosted Wikibase as a service uh, that we provide from Wikimedia. We've also uh, developed the Wikibase REST API to uh, let people do operations that don't need the whole uh, shebang of the query graph, uh, of the query, to do those requests uh, on stuff we can more easily optimize, on stuff that we can more easily cache, and so on. So if you don't need the whole graph, if you're not actually querying, but just accessing individual data points, do not use the query service, use the REST API. Um, and if it doesn't work for you yet, let us know, because that should. Um, then we've also improved the documentation to basically uh, help people understand when they should be using which uh, of those systems that we have available, because they're a bunch, not just the REST API. That's what we have been doing. Uh, what are we doing right now? We are thinking through what it would mean to split off uh, some parts of Wikidata into their own BlazeGraph instance. So still keeping the data in Wikidata, but having a separate BlazeGraph instance uh, that you would query via federation. Uh, there are a lot of things to think through and discuss and so on, but that is uh, something we're, we're looking into. Uh, I've also started discussing with the Wikisite people, hi, <laughs> um, about the future of all these scientific articles and Wikidata and what we do with them. Um, where we want to go with those, um, yeah. And last but not least, uh, we're trying to reduce uh, what I would call redundant data, so data that is actually already there but is duplicated in Wikidata for reasons. One example is you have an item for a person and the name would be repeated uh, as a label across uh, 300 plus languages. Maybe we don't need to store this name 300 times, but maybe once, or maybe twice in a different uh, writing system, but then maybe that's enough. Um, yeah, so we're introducing a new language code for that to help um, make that happen. We're also making some interface changes to make it less likely for people to want to enter this uh, redundant data. Let's see how that goes. In the future, um, what's coming? So. It's very clear that we need to continue addressing all of those problems, right? Um, we need to work on the huge amount of data in Wikidata. We need to figure out how we deal with uh, the query load. We need to continue talking about edit load. Um, and last but not least, somehow address the fact that uh, BlazeGraph is unmaintained. How are we dealing with, there is a lot of data in Wikidata. 
um, we need to start thinking about moving very specialized, niche, and so on data into uh, their own wiki bases and connect those to wiki data um, to keep the data accessible, but also think about uh, the wiki base ecosystem as a whole and not be bound to everything needs to be in wiki data to be accessible. Um, we need to get to the point where we're actually building a whole ecosystem and we're relying on linked data principles to make all of this data accessible. Um, we need to continue the development and then also the editing work required uh, to reduce the redundant uh, data that we have. Um, the more language code is the first part of that, but there's also um, more ideas around this, uh, for example, automated descriptions, because there's a lot of redundancy in descriptions. Um, there are thoughts around uh, improving Lua modules. So some of the data that is stored right now in items could move away because it's just stored there. So info boxes can access that data. Um, and last but not least, um, splitting the graph into two Blaze Graph instances, uh, as I said before. Then uh, for the huge amount of queries we have, um, we will continue talking to people about moving to other um, access method where it is sensible and where they don't need the graph. Um, so that is, for example, uh, work on um, making more of those other methods available and more usable, uh, like the dumps. They are not very usable right now, but are usually a very good uh, way to access the data if you want to do large scale an analysis on the data, for example. Um, <clears throat> we've also been thinking about automatically detecting um, when queries don't need the query service and then uh, redirecting them automatically to other services. Not sure yet if that will work and if you'll actually do it, but it's something we're thinking about. Um, also, some people write very inefficient queries that we can automatically rewrite. Another thing that um, could be on the table. And then last but not least, increasing the incentives and pressure to move uh, to some other systems. So for example, um, if you're doing a lot of queries that don't need the graph, then be more strict about contacting you and telling you, hey, <laughs> could you maybe not? <laughs> uh, could you maybe do, uh, this, uh, do your work this other way? Uh, that gives you the same result. Um, but again, um, we will see how that goes. Um, then, uh, the large amount of edits, uh, that again goes into reducing the amount of uh, redundant data I was uh, talking about and all the edits that come with it. So for example, uh, prime example for me are scientific articles where a bot comes and writes in the description scientific article across, I don't know how many languages, across many, many items, <laughs> uh, many millions of items. And maybe that's not needed and we can automate uh, some of that. And last but not least, uh, I maintain place graph. Um, we have to, to figure out uh, where we move and um, then actually move. That is a long time uh, in the future, uh, it seems now, it seems like right now, um, but we will have to see. Um, and at the same time, uh, we're talking to researchers, companies and so on to basically evangelize for new, better options that we could move to. Um, because say, being able to say that you're running the Spockler and point for Wikidata is actually a pretty cool thing. <laughs> so if anyone is very excited about writing their own uh, <laughs> Spockler and point, talk to me. <laughs> Easy, exactly. <laughs> Especially at our scale, piece of cake. <laughs> All right, um, that is the status quo. Uh, we have about 10 minutes for questions. And if you want to stay up to date, subscribe to the Wikidata Weekly Summary. Um, come to the search platform team's office hours. They're lovely people. Uh, or send me an email, pop me on my talk page. Thank you very much. All right. Well, all your questions, yes. <laughs> uh, I use the mic so 
Uh, there's a mic coming there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I have two questions. One is uh, if there is like um, a guideline or you're thinking of creating a guideline maybe with the community uh, for deciding whether a set of data should go to the main wiki data or to a wiki based cloud. And then the other question is regarding this evangelization uh, to create uh, new backends, whether you know if this need is shared by other organizations other than Wikimedia, maybe in the industry, like are we the only ones needing this solution or not? Thanks. Yeah. Um, so Wikidata is not the only project that has this problem. Uh, all the other wiki bases will at some point hit similar problems unless they are very small and constrained. Um, but I'm very sure that there will be quite a few that reach similar sizes uh, to Wikidata in terms of data size. Um, I'm not aware, but I would love to hear it if anyone knows someone, other organizations independent of Wikibase uh, who, who would be good allies uh, in this battle, yes. Um, and your f uh, first question around um, developing uh, guidelines, yes, I'd totally be up for that. Uh, that sounds great. Cool. Next question. Um, so there's clearly technical problem, and that's a you problem. <laughs> There's Not just me, but yes. <laughs> you all. And there's also, yeah, basically what Diego said, uh, guidelines on things. Uh, I'm doing uh, my part to say, no, stop using Sparkle for that. Uh, I'm using one more Cleaver, for instance, which is Sparkle avec, uh, with uh, um, dumps. So it's, oh, it's two weeks old. Oh my God, for data that didn't move for 10 years sometimes, that's good enough. And uh, my question is, how can we work together to to think about what the future will really look for people? For instance, for multi-language uh, tag, um, it's more or less technically ready, I think. But it's almost ready for first test. Yes, um. but my question is, how the community uh, knows about it? Because when yeah. I spoke about it, they don't. Mostly. Yes. Yep. And yeah, obviously, name of people will be a first longing food for that, but there's a shitload of things that will need that too. I'm thinking about wiki source, title of books, edition, things like that. Yeah. So, yep. how do we talk to the community about that? Yes. Uh, so, in the next days or weeks, hopefully more days than weeks, uh, there will be an, a call for testing of what we currently have for, for the more language code. And then you hopefully all say, yes, this is amazing and we're going to do this. <laughs> and then there is a page on Wikidata uh, for all things more language code, um, which we will point people to. And that seems like a good place to figure out policies okay, and, and processes for, okay, now that we have it, what do we do with it? Um, but I think we should maybe find spaces and time to go even beyond that and, and talk about more of the, of the redundant data. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Hello, uh, Diego from Spain. I'm mostly active on commons. I um, have a question about Placecraft. Uh, Placecraft, you said that it's not being maintained anymore. So my first question would be, is that not a real issue? And yes. the second question would be if uh, it's out of maintenance, and, but the code is there and it's still open source code, does it need, doesn't it make sense to take it over and continue from there instead of looking for something new? Yeah. Um, Placecraft being unmaintained is a problem, yes. Um, so far, it's fine. Um, but at some point, we will hit a point where uh, security vulnerabilities might be disclosed and then we'll have to um, figure out how to close them and, and stuff like that. So yes, this is, this is a problem. Um, not a things are on fire right now problem, but still a problem. <laughs> um, then your, your, your point about uh, taking over Placecraft maintenance, basically, and um, that was on the table. Um, the vibe I've gotten from the people who, who would then be the maintainers is no 
<laughs> do not want. <laughs> um, not judging, um, fine either way, um, but it seems to be a very large and complex project. We already have way too many large and complex projects. Um, in an ideal world, someone else's problem would be that large and complex project and we would use it. Um, yeah, this is uh, where we're at. And there are decent-ish alternatives. So for example, um, Clever is one of those alternatives that seems to be starting to, to reach a point where it's actually um, a, a viable alternative maybe. Thank you. For one or maybe two questions. Uh, Beat Esterman from Switzerland. <laughs> Talking about federation, I see several challenges there, and I'd like to hear your thoughts about that and maybe what is the state of discussions there. One is decision making where does the master data in which areas go in order to avoid duplication of data across many systems. Um, Non-standard sparkle on our side. And the third one is like ontology alignment across these different data stores, which are kind of a prerequisite for federated queries to work smoothly. Yeah. Um, that part is not going to be a piece of cake. Um, I have no illusions about that, and we will run into issues. Um, around uh, decisions to not duplicate data, I think at the end of the day, it's fine if, if some data is duplicated in, in different Wikibase instances or even in, in other um, linked data endpoints uh, that we could query. Um, my hope, maybe naive, is that there, there will be a process, right, where, where people, um, similar to where we are with Wikidata now, so maybe we don't need to keep the copy of that data and instead rely on the data being there. Um, but honestly, we have to try and see um, to, for some of that. Um, sorry, I forgot one of your other points. Um, Non-standard Sparkle, yes. Non-standard Sparkle is not great uh, because it's now also biting us with uh, the move away from Blazegraph. Um, we have custom Blazegraph extensions, which are not super easy to get into another uh, software. Um, so in an ideal world, we would move away from those custom uh, things as much as possible, I would say. Um, yes, but mm, not the first <laughs> first thing on the list. Uh, but it's it's worth uh, digging into more, I would say. Really yes. quick follow up: instant wiki data, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, when you say instant wiki data, do you mean the wiki data equivalent to instant comments? Yes. yes. For those who don't know, this is how you can use comments images on your third party media wiki installation as if comments was your best buddy. Um, so some people are asking for a similar thing uh, for Wikidata so that you can build info boxes on your third party uh, media wiki installation. So yay, nay, don't care. <laughs> yay, another yay, okay. If it's yay, come to me so I can uh, subscribe you to the ticket uh, where we're tracking this. <laughs> cool. Um, I think we are close to out of time, uh, but there seems to be more questions there. So I let's take one have, more. We have time for one more. Thank let's you. take one more. <laughs> Actually, it's not a question. Um, so is that for Wikibase as well? You know, the instance that you, you are aware that we are been trying in the, at the Smithsonian to, it's not the wiki based that cloud, but it's, uh, hmm. you, mm -hmm. know, you know, the wiki that we've been trying to bring up. 
uh, if, if that's something you would have, I can add it to the ticket as something we okay. should explore making that's, possible. Yeah, we want to experiment that. Thanks. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, Lydia. You can uh, stay for the Wikisite session. And also, I have stickers, uh, Wikidata stickers. I'll be in the back of the room. Uh, come and get stickers. <laughs> <laughs>